So in today's lesson, we're learning about the first step in the invention process, which is called identifying. Now in the identifying process, we're going to learn about another process, which is called brainstorming. So how do you do it? What is it? And how can we use it to help us come up with new inventions and new problems to solve? So let's go through a couple things. So um, first thing we want to understand is what is uh, what is brainstorming? OK, so coach, if you're in the classroom there, go ahead and take a minute. Um, you can pause this video, take a couple seconds to solicit ideas from the class on what they think brainstorming is. And then once you have a few ideas written down, go ahead and play the video again. Now, I know you came up with some great ideas on what you thought brainstorming is. Now, let's take a couple seconds to think about the two words that make up brainstorming, which is brain and storm. OK, so what comes to mind, haha, pun intended, when you think about the brain? And now what comes to mind when you think about a storm? OK, so now we can take those two ideas, brain and storm, and we can start to get a feel for what brainstorming is. OK, um, so here's the definition of brainstorming. It's a group problem solving activity where the members of that group actually just throw out ideas. OK, so we have a, a prompt or something that we're really trying to figure out. And then the brainstorming session is where the group members actually throw out different ideas to answer whatever that problem may be or uh, trying to figure out a solution, okay? And so you can do brainstorming by yourself as well, but really the idea is that you're uh, collecting ideas around uh, a problem or a solution. So you may be asking yourself, how do I brainstorm? Well, see here, we have a couple rules that you may want to follow, okay? Um, first of all, we want a, a lot of ideas, okay? So no idea is too wild or too crazy, okay? In fact, we want wild and crazy ideas, okay? Because this gives us some flexibility when we move forward in the process, in the invention process, okay? Um, you can build on some of these ideas. Uh, someone else may throw out an idea that you can add on to, okay? Um, and this is the, let me move this here. And so, and then another thing that we want to remember is that everybody's idea is important, okay? Um, one of the best things about invention is that um, you never know which way or which ideas are going to turn out to be the best ideas, okay? So no ideas are stupid. We want to take everybody's idea into account because those ideas may actually evolve into something that we can use, okay? So these are some of the rules you want to keep in mind when you're doing brainstorming. And so now I want you to take about five minutes, break up into groups. And if you're not already separated into groups, break up into groups and work in your small groups. And I want you to brainstorm some invention ideas, okay? And now this is where we want you across the board to think about some things that you can invent. What problems can you solve? And this is really just a basic uh, exercise to get you thinking and your brain's working about some potential ideas that you can use when you uh, participate in the con invention convention, okay? And you may want to write some of these down because they may turn into the invention that you want to pursue as part of the invention convention. So take about five to 10 minutes, uh, break up into groups and work in your small groups to think of different ideas, different problems that you can provide solutions for. And then after that, go to the next lesson, which is entitled the scamper activity. And we're going to give you um, some more tips on how to uh, use a process called scamper that allows you to think more deeply around brainstorming. <laughs>